viewers today latest update from war between russia and ukraine viewers russia has announced that it will carry the heaviest airplane the russian ministry of defense has announced that their troops will carry out what is described as the biggest attack to end the strong resistance of ukraine military against russian troops although the speed of progress in russian uh, ukraine attacks decreased this afternoon likely to be the result of short term ukrainians and strong resistance on the other hand he is announced today that two Greek nationals were killed and six other wounded in a Russian bombing near the city of Mariupol in Ukraine, adding that it had the Russian ambassador to the Greek foreign ministry. The Greek foreign ministry said that the bombing took place outside the village of Santana and that one of the injured was a child. And it was according to the sources, the United States Department of Defense Pentagon said on Saturday evening that there is no truth to America. Participation in the Ukrainian resistance against the Russians on the IS land of Zemini. Prior to this, a senior Pentagon official confirmed that Russia is using in Ukraine more than 50% of the forces it has amassed on the border and appears. Increasingly frustrated with the solid resistance of the Ukrainian army, our estimates are then uh, our estimates are that more than 50% of the force that uh, Putin has uh, amassed against Ukraine is now being used inside Ukraine," said the official who preferred not to be identified. The official did not specify the number of Russian forces. Uh, that have reached Ukraine, but the United States estimated the total number of Russian forces deployed near Ukraine at more than 1,50,000. On the other side, according to the Ukrainian sources, Kiev resistance were asked to go to shelters due to immense raids. And press sources reported information about the landing of Russian uh, southwest of Kiev. Before that, violent clashes erupted between the Ukrainian and Russian armies in the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv on Saturday night. A video clip documented an aspect of the fighting. Earlier, the Russian defense forces uh, confirmed that orders were issued to all Russian units in Ukraine to resume their offensive. On such a day from Alexis after stopping on Friday. For its part, the Kiev municipality announced on such a day a curfew until 8 o'clock on Monday morning as the battles continue in the center of the Ukraine, Ukrainian capital on the third day of the Russian attack. And it was the European Commission announced from Saturday night to Sunday the tightening of sanctions against Russia to paralyze its military capabilities, pointing out that the European Union will prevent Russia from accessing the SWIFT financial system and will freeze Russia financial assist. The European Commission confirmed that the European Union will paralyze uh, Putin capabilities to finance the war machine, threatening Russia to pay a heavy price for the military operation in Ukraine. So, this is the latest update about it. For more latest report, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.